I'm James Lapine, and I wrote the book for a new musical called Flying Over Sunset, which I'm also directing. Flying over sunset, going such a long way down. Flying Over Sunset uh, takes place in the 1950s, primarily in California, and centers on three people. Cary Grant, the very famous movie star, Aldous Huxley, the British author of a very well-known book called Brave New World, and Claire Booth Luce, who was a congresswoman from Connecticut for two terms and also the ambassador to Italy. And what these three people had in common in the 1950s was they were taking LSD. LSD was not illegal and it was very much under the radar. Most people think of LSD as having been in the 60s with Timothy Leary, but actually in the 50s, it was taken uh, in a much more seriously, not as a form of entertainment, but as a means to exploring the world and exploring yourself. Everything is based on fact, basically, in the first act. And then in the second act is a kind of invention of mind. Claire Booth Luce rents a beautiful estate in Malibu uh, where she invites Cary Grant and Aldous Huxley to spend an afternoon experimenting with LSD. What's interesting about these people is they're not young. They're, for their time, middle-aged, and they chose to do LSD later in life, when they had some wisdom, when they were asking the big questions. So they were each at a point in their lives where they were trying to figure out who they were and what they were gonna do with the rest of their lives. And this drug opened a kind of portal for them to look at their lives and look at what's beyond our life. LSD heightens the world to you visually. There's no better way to communicate that than through music and song. I knew in order to bring an LSD experience to the audience that a lot of it had to come with non-traditional musical theater forms in a way, rather than being a traditional musical where the characters step out and tell you what they're thinking. With, uh, here, they're gonna be taking you on a ride every time they sing. It's somewhat audacious and daring. We want the audience to take a trip. This is the kind of show that only Lincoln Center could do. 